Other places. Now these are some of the people you'll see standing outside the bus. The intercity buses trying to sell people things. This is what it like. They have drinks, sunglasses. People also have Welcome to Inspire for Travel. My name is Wemba Emani. At the foothills of Mount Meru, the second highest mountain in Tanzania, you will find the amazing city of Arusha, or like they say in the beautiful language of Kiswahili, Jiji La Arusha. Right now I'm standing outside the Memorial Declaration Monument, or in the language of Kiswahili, Mnara wa Azimio La Arusha. I'll be providing you with a city tour of Arusha today. You'll get an insight into the local areas where people shop and a local flavor of the place to give you a real vibe of Arusha. I'll also provide you with information about some of the restaurants where you can go and some of the things you can do in this amazing city. And you will learn about the history of the city and some information about the monument you can see behind me right now. So if you're new to the channel, do consider liking, sharing and subscribing to the channel by clicking on the red box below this video that says subscribe. Karibuni sana Arusha, Karibuni sana Tanzania. Welcome to Arusha! Today we'll be starting off today's tour outside the Arusha Declaration Monument. It is a landmark monument and a tourist attraction located in the Kati Ward in Arusha, Tanzania. It was unveiled in 1977 by the nation ruling party, Chama Cha Mapinduzi Party, to commemorate the 10 years of the Arusha Declaration. It is situated along Makongoro Road at the center of the roundabout. You may be wondering, what is the Arusha Declaration? Well, to give you a brief history of the Declaration, the Declaration occurred in 1967 in Arusha, and it signaled the introduction of socialism to Tanzania, a policy that was similar to that used by the USSR. This was a key moment in the country's history, as it played a part in a lot of the events in the years that followed some of which were positive and some negative. Much of his policies still play an important role in the conduct of the country's people. Indeed, Ujama, socialism and togetherness is a very integral part in the culture of the people in Tanzania. The declaration came just after two years after the union of Tanganyika with Zanzibar in October 1965 to form Tanzania. On February 5, 1967, the then Tanzanian president, His Excellency Julius Nerere, announced the Arusha Declaration, outlining the principles of Ujamaa, which he called African Socialism. The principles were to guide the economy of the newly independent nation, rooted in the concept of self-reliance. Okay, guys, so right now we're currently on Swahili Street, and here you will find Swahili, and then further on we'll go on to Bondani Street, and then we'll find, of course, the Sokoku or the Central Market here in, Ar in Arusha. So this section of town, you will find a lot of things in, in regards to cloth, curtains, and you can buy other food products at wholesale prices. Now the weather today is 26 degrees Celsius. Some people had asked, they'd like to know the weather here. So today, 
26 degrees Celsius here in Arusha, Tanzania. So it's not that hot, quite a cool temperature, moderate indeed in comparison to the coastal side of Tanzania. And we did get a lot of rain this morning, but it's held hold up now so I can make a video. And yeah, you'll find tailors here as well. If you look to your right, these are some of the local tailors in the area. A very interesting thing about Arusha, it's definitely a multicultural city. You will find people from all different backgrounds in Arusha. And since I've been here, I've seen people from across the world. And those people, of course, have integrated in, into the Tanzanian society. Many of them speak the Kiswahili language. And many of them are third, second, fourth generation. So some of them have been born here. But that's what makes the city quite interesting. It's definitely a much more cool temperature in Arusha in comparison to other places. So to, to my right, this is that's the that's the entrance for the central market and it's pretty much a lot of the things you've seen in my previous videos in the markets that I've been to so you can definitely check it out to get an insight into what the market looks like they pretty much have the same thing for example food produce you can buy fish you can buy meat different clothing so these are some of the things you'll find in the central market an array an abundance of fruits and vegetables this is definitely a fertile region for farming so you find a lot of that here so we're coming up to Bondani Road so we take a right here so we're the really city of Arusha today. A lot of people who are coming here, of course, Arusha will be kind of like a, a transit point to, of course, probably go on to Mount Meru and, of course, the famous Kilimanjaro Mountains. So they may miss the local vibe of the city. But it's, it's, it's definitely worth a visit. I mean, just to get an idea of what it's like. Arusha definitely reminds me of Nakuru in uh, Kenya, Nakuru city or Nakuru town. They got that same kind of feel to it and even in terms of the weather, quite similar. After all, Arusha is very close to Kenya, not too far from Nairobi. So you do find similarities. This here is the National Bank here in Arusha. The National Bank of Commerce. Commerce. So for many people that will be visiting Arusha, one of the things you may want to do is from here, 
travel or visit other cities or regions here in Tanzania. And this spot where I am is where, where you will come to get your tickets and board your intercity bus to visit other places in Tanzania. So this is what it like. It gets really busy here. And when you do come, be calm, of course, and guard your items, your bag. Your bag be on point for that. But it's just generally from my experience of being here, it's been calm. Of course, you do get people approaching you. I sell, trying to sell you tickets to go to other places, but generally it's a calm vibe here. From here you can go to Kenya, you can go to other places. Now these are some of the people you will see standing outside the bus. The intercity bus is trying to sell people things. This is what it like. They have drinks, sunglasses. People also have bread. They're really trying to get customers. So this is how some people, what some people do for a living. We're deep in the city of Arusha, guys. We're deep in. Now, these are all the ticket office to buy a ticket to get on the intercity buses. This is what the offices look like. So within the market, and one of the things I've observed in Arusha, you'll find a lot of the traditional clothing, dresses made from the fabric, hanger fa fabric, really colorful and beautiful. And you can get a lot of these things in this area here. Arusha city is a Tanzanian city and the regional capital of the Arusha region. Located below Mount Meru on the eastern edge of the Great River Valley, Arusha City has a temperate climate. The city is close to the Serengeti National Park, the Ngorongoro Conservation Area, Lake Manyama National Park, Tarangire National Park, Mount Kilimanjaro, and Mount Meru. And thus it is considered the safari capital of the world. Arusha is a multicultural city with a majority Tanzanian population of mixed backgrounds, indigenous African people, Arab, Tanzanian, and Indian Tanzanian population, plus a small European and North American minority population. Religions of the Arusha city population include Christianity, Islam, Sikhism, and Hinduism. So this is where many of the people in the area will be coming to shop. A lot of business is happening here. So this is if you really want to get an insight into where the local shop and a real vibe of the place, you definitely got to visit Arusha City.
And for those who like roast corn, you do see a lot of sellers of roast corn in this area or roast maize. So these are the local Dala Dala buses. They have a different, they're, they're, they're the same size, but they have a different shape in, in comparison to the ones we see in um, Tanga. So one of the things I really like about Arusha, people really got a sense of business here. And every corner that I go, like you're seeing across there, they're makeshift or restaurants set up for people. And sometimes you'll get, you know, some of them are outside. They have gazebos where people can sit under and have a meal. You can have a variety of different foods, traditional foods, even your regular chicken and chips a variety of vegetables ugali different things so it's really nice and you can also get a drink alcoholic and non-alcoholic beverages and the place is busy i came out like seven o'clock this morning and i saw people setting up in the marketplaces already you know so it's busy here so definitely um, if you're interested in terms of farming and different things like that then you should definitely consider Arusha and also if you're someone who appreciates a more moderate climate consider Arusha right now you can see I'm actually wearing a jumper today because you know it's a bit early this morning it was a bit more cold so had to put on a jumper but a light jumper it's not freezing cold it's not like the weather in London or anything like that but you do need a jumper at least for the chill chill breeze you know so let's let's see what's in front of me Wow, another person selling uh, roast corn. We're coming up on the left there. That lady right there on the left, that's roast corn being sold. So, I mean, guys, if you're worried about, you know, what you're going to import, you don't need to. I mean, you can see, you see, you can get fridges, you can get cooker, gas stoves, all of that can get here. I think a lot of them are coming from Turkey because as I look at some of the, uh, the, the gas stoves, I can see, or the cooker, I can see a flag of Turkey there. But these products are generally from my experience purchasing them in the past. They're good quality for the most part so you can get all of these things here
And usually when you buy it in this side of town, you usually get it for a much more reasonable price. So, for example, on my right, that is one of the local restaurants here. And it's really nice. It gets really packed, especially during the evenings. And they really do nice um, nyamachoma. And nyamachoma is like roasted meat you can get for those who eat beef, goat, chicken. They also have ugali there and different greens and boga and boga as they say in Kiswahili so it's really nice and you can get different juices beers and other drinks so that's a real nice local flavor but if you haven't experienced it before it'll be nice to experience it you get to meet people from the area the citizens of the area and they usually play lovely African music a variety of various types of African music you get rumba you get Kiswahili music so it's a real good vibe and we're coming up to another spot actually right now which which has the same kind of flavor so when you come to arusha you definitely should try these local joints out the food is really nice I mean, and, it, and today is a weekday, it's not even a weekend, but you still have people sitting down, having a drink at the moment. And of course it's aligned with bajaji, so if you're going to a certain place after you have your meal, you can get your bajaji and head out. So this is the vibe where it's like there. Hello. Yeah, so that's a real local joint. You gotta check out when you come here to Arusha. And it's on Wachaga Road. Wachaga Road. So you can't miss it. If you're getting your taxi, you're getting your boda boda, you're getting your bajaji, just ask them to take you to Wachaga Road and you will find these food joints out here. And you can enjoy the local delicacies that the place have to offer here.